Hey guys, and welcome back to another random distractions gameplay experience of Batman the Enemy Within. And in the last one, we left off with uh, John stealing the laptop, and now we're going to try to to get it from him. And I'm assuming, I guess, we're going to go as Batman. The stack deck. Alfred, keep the drones on alert. They're online and overhead, sir. Don't let your guard down. He's here. Hmm. Any minute now. Bat's supposed to be punctual. Not. <laughs> they say heart disease is a silent killer. <laughs> How do you even do that? Did you get it? It didn't feel great, you know, stealing from her. It felt like there was a little Harley with a halo on this shoulder telling me not to do it, and then a bat on the other whispering, just get it, John. <laughs> or did you have the halo and Harley the horns? <laughs> you must have run across this in your line of work. How do you deal with doing something good when you might be hurting someone you love? Because it certainly didn't feel good. Hmm. Quite the opposite, in fact. I serve the greater good, John. I can't let my feelings get in the way of that. If someone I care about is on the wrong side, that makes them my enemy. A black and white world. <laughs> so much easier to parse. I did bring the thing, by the way. Don't you worry. Perseus! I bring you the Gorgon's head. So, is Batman happy? You, you look pretty happy. <laughs> well, I'm happy. I did something for you. Maybe you uh, could do something for me. Like? Teach me anything. What about those, uh... Boomerangs you have. <laughs> I promised to only use it for, you know, hero things. I'm not sure you've earned that yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll I'll get there. Just you wait. I'm working with you, Batman. It's just been wow. What I meant to say is, uh, it's it's been an honor. I know, I'm not quite there yet. I'll be battering worthy soon. You can take that to the bank. This is exciting. A new leaf. You have potential, John. Do something good with it. Well, if you to look up to, how could I go wrong? Do you have a cape, guy? Because I was thinking about updating my look. <laughs> Three. Literally. <laughs> Wayne Manor. Didn't he be asking John if he got the laptop? Selena. I had nowhere else to go. I guess I was a fool for thinking I'd be safe here. How did you get inside? Just what are you insinuating, Bruce? That I broke in? Well, I mean... Did you? <laughs> no, genius. I was invited in. <sighs> Maybe we should just start from the beginning. What happened? I'm glad you're here, Bruce. Miss Kyle is injured. I've dressed the wound as best I can. I trust you told him about your motorcycle accident? I was just about to. I hope you don't mind me tending to her wounds. I couldn't turn her away. Not in her condition. Not at all. Thanks for taking care of her. You've been so good to me, Al. I don't know how I would ever repay you. But of course. I hate to ask, but 
Would you mind giving Bruce and I a second to talk? How can I refuse? I'm worried about him, Bruce. I'm pretty sure he's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And you don't want to be the one who pushes him over the edge. You're right. He's been off lately. I'm glad you're aware. You're lucky to have each other. Whoa, what are you doing? Relax. I'm just changing out the bandage. Be a doll and hand me a clean piece of gauze. Been through two dressings already. There. Good as new. So, do you want to tell me what really happened? We both know you didn't get this from a motorcycle accident. I was ambushed by your friend Gordon tonight. Thought you knew. You and Gordon are so tight. He must have mentioned he was coming after me. Gordon did what he had to. He's a good man. A good officer. So you did know. Why didn't you warn me? I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, it's just... I never thought you would give me up. Not to the cops. Gordon and I have been partners for a long time. He needed to bring you in, and I didn't want to stand in his way. I guess I can't blame you. I haven't exactly given you a whole lot of reasons to trust me. But I never expected you to turn on me like that. Listen. This little game we play... You know I've always enjoyed it. The tit for tat. It's fun. But tonight... You've taken it too far. Way too far. Is that why you came here? To guilt trip me? No. I came for Harley's laptop. Well, why is the laptop so important to you? I wanted to get payback for Riddler. On my own terms. I let my temper get the best of me. But this is bigger than my vendetta. I want to find that black site. Before they do. The laptop is useless without Riddler's decryptor. Good thing I brought it then. You have the goggles too? Not so fast. What are you offering me in return? Hmm. Nothing is for free. Nothing. Then you'll get nothing. What do you want from me, Selena? I want you to admit that you need my help. I want you to say, Selena, I need you. I can't do this without you. <laughs> say it and it's yours. You're the one who needs me. Is that so? You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Maybe you're right. I'd like to keep this professional. You're a friend. But that's all. Sorry, did you think I was... <laughs> that's not what I meant. Sure. What now? Are we gonna crack Riddler's laptop together or not? I'm out on a line here. Don't leave me hanging. Come downstairs with me. What's downstairs? You'll see. That it? Moving the mouse around, but it's not doing anything. I'll tell you, come on now. Oh, there we go. Very uh, <laughs> sensitive, apparently. Let's see. What? Working. 
But Selena's like, why is this taking so long? <laughs> Come on. Why is this taking so long? This is a little bit ridiculous. Why isn't this working? Oh my gosh. That took a lot longer than it should have. Are you coming? I thought I'd seen it all when I found you hanging with the sewer rats, Bruce. This place. It's really you. Rich men and their toys. Only thing missing is a wet bar. The cave shields my tech from surveillance and gives me direct access to Gotham's waterways. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, but it's so isolating. Like the whole world is just closed off. I know how hard it is to let people in. The fact that you've done that, it means a lot to me, Bruce. I didn't give a damn about anyone else until I met you. Hmm. You're a bad influence on me. You say that like it's a bad thing. It definitely makes life more... I know you said you'd like to keep it friendly, without benefits, and I'm okay with that. I am. But I still want you to know, you've left a mark on me. You're the first person who's made me feel like, I don't know, like, I might actually be good. Do you maybe feel the same? Let's keep it as friends. It's safer for both of us to keep our feelings out of it. Work partners, then. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's see if we can decrypt this laptop, finally. T for two is served. Alfred, thank you. Detected. Accessing Sanctus Project Lotus files. Retinal scan required. Let's try this again. <laughs> Access granted. Bruce, whenever you have a moment, I have something to show you. The back computer will scan for viruses and other safeguards before we can have access to the data. to Alfred in your armory. Is this where the armory was? I didn't see. Well, maybe it's over here. There we go. That suit, latest design. My suit always takes a lot of damage, but still does what it's supposed to do. Hide my identity, intimidate criminals, and keep me keep me alive. You just gave me this upgraded model after my battle with Lady Arkham last year. The new suit has improved armaments, shielding, and scanning technology. Oh wait, was there something else? Oh, stunner. This device can stop a criminal cold with a powerful electric shock. It's flashy and subtle but it's guaranteed to incapacitate a target no matter their size. Smoke grenades. These grenades create a smoke screen that confuses enemies and allows me to hide striking from the shadows. 
the batarangs, a few of these can clear out a room full of gunmen, heavy, sleek, and extremely sharp. Grapple gun. Uh, this gun allows me essential freedom of movement around the city, whether that's from building to building or straight up from a crowd of enemies. Bat suit. Previous model. My suit always takes a lot of damage, blah blah blah. This bat suit was damaged in fights against the children of Markham and Harvey Dent's paramilitary troops. Lucius has since given me an even better version of the suit. I hold on to this one to remind me to never let my guard down in battle. So yeah, I guess there is a little bit of a difference there, right? As more armor looks like. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop it there, guys, before I talk to Alfred uh, and see what he has to show me here. Uh, but uh, definitely uh, it's, we're getting close, I think, to figuring out what this plan is all about, uh, hopefully. And um, we'll see if we can figure out where the black side is. And, yeah, so uh, would definitely appreciate a like, of course, on the video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when the next one drops. And until then, I hope you have a good one.